This is an overview of the five steps in responding to an opioid overdose. The first step is to check for any signs of an overdose. The second step is to call 911 immediately. The third step is to administer naloxone. The fourth step is to support the person's breathing. The fifth step is to support the person's response. The first step is to check for signs of an overdose. The individual is unresponsive and unconscious. They have small pinpointed pupils. Uh, they are not breathing at all. They also are making snoring and gurgling sounds and their lips and fingers are pale and blue in color. Check if the person is unconscious. You can ask them, hey, are you okay? If they are not responding, you can then kneel down and lightly tap on their shoulders and ask them, hey, are you okay? If they are not responding, you can then proceed to use the sternum technique in which you clasp your hands into a fist and place it on top of their chest in which you start rubbing it. This technique is uncomfortable for the individual, but if they are not responding, then they are unconscious. You can also examine their chest if it is rising and falling. Call 911. If you have identified the signs of an overdose, the immediate step is call 911. Either call 911 yourself and put it on speakerphone or tell someone else to call 911. Hello, we have a medical emergency. We have someone unconscious and not breathing. Naloxone, naloxone. I have naloxone. If you have naloxone with you, the third step is to administer it. Naloxone is a safe medication that can help reverse opioid overdoses when used immediately. There's no danger in administering naloxone to someone who hasn't overdosed. It's also most effective between 30 to 90 minutes, so it's very important to get medical help by calling 911. To administer naloxone, remember the three Ps, peel, place, and press. Peel the circle tab at the back to remove the spray from the box. Each spray has one dose of naloxone. Place your middle and pointer finger over the spray like a peace sign with your thumb over the plunger. Place the plunger firmly into a person's nostril until your fingers are touching their nostril. Press the plunger firmly. If a person does not wake up in two to three minutes, administer the second dose in the other nostril. You may need to support a person's breathing through performing CPR through chest compressions or rescue breathing if trained. Place the heel of your hand at the center of their chest while placing your other hand on top of your hand, making sure that your elbows are straight and that your shoulders are above your hands. Use your body weight to push down two inches and at a rate of 100 per minute. If the person starts breathing again, place them in a recovery position. Grab the hand that is closest to you and place it at a right angle. And grab the hand that is furthest from you and place it under their cheek. While holding this hand, grab the leg that is furthest from you and place it at a right angle. While grabbing both, turn the person towards their side towards you. If a person does wake up, it's important to be empathetic and stay with them until EMT arrives. Withdrawal symptoms can include body aches, shivering, confusion, nausea, and irritability. If you feel the need to take a few steps back for your own safety, do so. An overdose can occur within a matter of minutes to a few hours, which is why medical attention is important to arrive within a short amount of time so the person has a higher chance of surviving. You are protected by the California Good Samaritan Law to seek help and carry naloxone. To learn more about naloxone, find our website at www.fullerton.edu slash Titanwell slash opioid.